No parent goes to sleep ever thinking that their infant son or daughter will not wake up the next day. Yet more than 3,500 babies under the age of one die in sleep-related incidents across the country every single year. And more than 6% of all infant deaths in Northeast Florida, so here, right here in our neighborhoods, are due to sleep-related issues. That's higher than the national average for some perspective there, and that is why it is so important for you to listen to our message this morning. If you've got a baby in your life, that you love and we probably all do. Faye Johnson is the CEO of the Northeast Florida Healthy Star Coalition and then Leah Othmer is here also from Safe Kids Northeast Florida. Thank you ladies both for being sure, here. I really appreciate you. it. Okay, so Lee, let me start with you because you what I love about this is you've brought us a visual aid, yes. right? To help us visualize what we should and should not be doing when we put our babies to sleep. Yes. So we, we, we have a pack and play. You know, a lot of people maybe at home will have a crib as an example. Mm -hmm. Will you explain the importance mm -hmm. of what is is missing from here and should not be yes. in, in the pack and play or a crib for that matter. Yes, so first we love the use of pack and plays, cribs and bassinets. So those are the three safe sleep environments that we really wanna to stress to parents and caregivers. As you can see, this baby has no pillows or blankets. They're only in their sleep sack. So this sleep sack is meant to keep their arms inside and keep yeah. them warm and comfortable so that use of blankets isn't necessary. No pillows, no stuffed animals, mm -hmm. nothing that the baby could roll over or cause suffocation. Baby's airways are really, really tiny and it only takes covering their nose and their mouth for that airway to be cut off. So um, we practice the ABCs of safe Cs, like yep. Faye Johnson at Northeast Florida Coalition practices as well. So A, alone, B, on their back, and C, crib, bassinet, or pack and play. Yeah. Faye, it's so much, I, I hear you say, mm-hmm, that's right. <laughs> you know, I mean, if, if we could shout it out loud, yes. you know, to all of Jacksonville yes. and all of right. Northeast Florida, we yeah. certainly would, yeah. because sadly, you have seen the statistics. Oh, yes. You've talked to the moms. Yeah. You know yeah. what's happening, and the reality is, is that something like this, even those beautiful little bumpers, mm -hmm. right. you just love those bumpers. You're having yeah. your first child. Yeah. You want to decorate the baby room. You put the bumpers. <laughs> <laughs> and you put the pillow in there and it's perfect for the picture, right. but it's the worst thing you can for do the for the baby. Yes, yes, <laughs> right. yes. Yes, Jen, we've surveyed over 1,000 families and individuals and it was alarming to us to see that 26% of those said it's okay to sleep with the baby in the bed or on the couch and things. So we're really trying to continue the education through our Safe Sleep campaign that we ran over the last year, teaching the ABCs of Safe Sleeps, like Leah said, you know, alone, on the back. And then being on the back is so important because of the airways and so that baby can breathe and alone in the crib and not sleeping in co-sleeping. You know, yeah. I, I just want to circle back to the co-sleeping because um, there's this part, which is, yeah. I think it's easy to remember. I think that that message is getting mm -hmm. through um, as much as you worry about the baby getting cold. And that's why these sleep sacks yeah. are just amazing because yeah. then you don't have to worry about it. Right. right? right. right. But, but it's the co-sleeping part of this and the aspect of this. And, uh, you know, I remember, um, just all of my years and talking with different physicians yeah. and also interviewing families, Faye, yeah. who lost yeah. a child because dad wanted to let mom sleep. Right. And so dad exactly. fell asleep with baby on there his chest. Yep. It's on a big comfy couch. Yes. And sadly during that, the baby slips off and gets yep. caught between the cushions. Yeah. Can you talk just a little bit about sure. those environments that, sure. that parents kind of think are safe, but they don't yeah. even think yeah. that the worst is yeah. gonna happen? Well, when you think about the bed, especially the bed with a soft mattress, right and so mom is exhausted she's trying to get some rest she may have worked all night come home the next morning and try to get some sleep and puts the baby in the bed with her in a soft environment soft comfy mattress and what happens the mattress then sinks and the baby goes underneath could go underneath mom or dad and get wedged between the two. And sometimes there are other children in the bed as well. And, and this is an accident, right? We know it's an accident, but things happen like that where the siblings may either roll over on the little baby. And, and it's just unfortunate, but and, that's what happens. And I think you have to remember, I mean, as you touched on, I mean, parents are exhausted. exhausted. Those first few weeks, yeah. I mean, I feel like they were a blur with both of my kids, <laughs> yeah. right? Because yeah. you're just trying to, it feels yeah. like survive mm -hmm. and feed baby yeah. in the middle of the night. And the reality is, is that blankets can be yeah. turned or whatever uh, over yeah. and it just takes that small amount. Small amount, suffocation. Uh, it's just, it's just, so um, I, I also, Leah, yeah. um, and mm -hmm. we've talked about this before, but it's worth mentioning. Uh, you, you mentioned, you know, an environment like this. There is a tendency while baby is going to sleep and maybe they're a little colicky and you want to put them in some kind of a swing of some sort. Yes. Would you remind our, our viewers about why that's not a good idea? Yeah, so um, the Consumer Product Safety Commission is really, they frequently update their consumer products. And so 
even on this pack and play, you can see the warnings. So different products have different kinds of warnings. And only pack and plays, cribs, and bassinets mm -hmm. are meant for a safe sleep environment. Anything else that you right. may place baby in, like a car seat, we see that frequently as well. Anything like that is not used for safe sleep. So remembering that babies don't need to sleep at an incline, um, contacting your pediatrician, looking at the regulations and what the AAP recommends, and that's the American Academy of Pediatrics. They will have all of the updated regulations and rules that new parents and caregivers can refer back to. Um, but again, no incline. We just want to see those babies placed on their back in a safe right. sleep environment. Yeah, I think that there's an assumption that if I can go to the store and I buy this at the yeah. store, uh -huh. that it's just safe for my baby. If they can right. ride in the car in it, then they can certainly take a two-hour nap, right. you know, sitting, you know, in, in the living room, mm -hmm. and you have to read the fine print. You do. Don't make assumptions, particularly when it comes to what is the most yeah. precious thing in your life, yeah. which exactly. is your children. Yeah. Thank you, ladies, for being here. We okay. appreciate you. Thanks, we Jen. certainly you. do. Thank and you.